Right then, there's that way. Could have used that other track if I wanted, but I actually wanted to come up this way. And to be quite honest, I've seen people walking along the main track because Lydiard Hill, Lydiard Hill is up that way. To be quite honest, I must be a lot fitter than I used to be because I didn't find that difficult at all. I, I am guessing, I've seen two lots of people walking that way. I am guessing that I'm at the top. I could be home by three o'clock at this rate. No, it is a long walk along the top. It is a long walk. Um, and at the moment, it's looking very dull and a bit nippy. So, and breezy. I've been protected on here, see? I might have to put my coat on yet. I'm trying not to, though. So off we go, we're going up through this drove, Stout Lane it's called, down to the pub, the Rising Sun, at West Bagborough. This is another short video. I join them together, they might seem a bit disjointed. I do try to do longer videos usually, but the battery just went. I actually need new batteries. Um, they don't just sell them in the shops, these, you know. But I'm, I need a new camera. I haven't got a flash. I haven't got flash on this either. So I think there might be an infrared that works. But uh, this might not be the top yet. Something tells me it is, though. But it might not be. We won't know till we're up there. And then, of course, when we do get to the top, if this isn't it, we head through some woods towards Will's, what's called Will's Neck. After that, we go towards Truscombe Stone, then Black Hill, Hullsway Post, and then we look for Bicknoller Post. And uh, that's what we do. See, there's that track coming out there. Probably why it's dangerous is probably a horse run. The horses probably zoom up this hill, trot up this hill. I should imagine something like that. Now I'm not saying this is where I'm supposed to come out. I've seen people crossing there so I'll just look at that gate a minute because I've got a feeling that takes you to Lyd Lydiard Hill. My sister Jude was always talking about Lydiard Hill. I went there, I didn't think there was anything there. I thought, what's so special about this? Yeah, we've done it. And I'm not even breathless. And I talked all the way up it, more or less. Even if I didn't have the video on, I was talking. One of the times I came up here, there were loads and loads of horses here. There's a possibility I might have to put a coat on in a minute. I did pass my mind, you know. I've put, I've got a, I have still got a hat that I could wear if I want. That's how misty it is. Not going to get any good photos today, Shill. Um, I thought about the scarf, the thin scarf, but I'm trying to cut down on weight when I'm out on these big hikes. Yeah, so it's very misty, folks. Spooky mess. Some people, there's a car park up here. This is the way to Lydiard Hill, Hill, which I'm not doing. I'm just coming to this point so that people know. I'm going to climb up there. It's probably all in the mist. And as you can see, this there is a bit of a plan there. And there's two ways you can go along that bit, up there or round there. To Lydiard Hill. Well, we just go up there and have a look since we come all this way. When I told this old farm lady where I was going, she said, Oh, that's a big hike. She sort of gasped when I said Stout Hill. We're Stout Lane. She said, Oh, 
there's an easier way. I said, I know that one, the green way. I've done that one. I said, I deliberately want to go up Stout Hill. Now, because it is so misty, folks, we're not going to see Lydiard Hill. There's nothing really to see, to be quite honest. I'm not going to go up any further. I'll just come up to this bit, that's all. Now, obviously, if the mist wasn't around, we'd get lovely views of more of the Quantocks there. I had to take the opportunity to come today, though, because I can only get out early unless I pay the full fares for bus and train. I can, all, I can only get out here on a Saturday. So, although there's gorgeous views over there, folks, and down there, we're not going to see it with this mist. Um, I, I don't even know if it's going to clear up to about 4 o'clock this afternoon. So basically, we're, the views you get are going to be dull. I'm sorry about that. It, it disappoints me um, when I have to come out when it's uh, misty and dull. But there again, that's what it is. These hills aren't all blue and sunny. They can look harsh and windy. I'll be sheltered a lot as well. I probably will have to put a coat on. Because I'm going through quite a few wood, wooded areas. So it would have been dark anyway. But uh, all over there you've got what's called Great Wood. Further over you've got Dead Woman's Ditch and all that. And Triscum and all that over that way. We're, we're skirting up the old marching track by the Saxon armies I, and then probably Iron Age as well I'm just going to see I think we might have the wind with us which is handy <clears throat> not sure yet sort of a north easterly wind which I think that's what they said it would be so it was probably more behind us than to the side Okay, so we're going back down to this point where Stout Lane starts on the top, down to the gates, then we'll start our long walk across the top, and it's a shame. I did feel that this is what it was going to be like, though. We've only had one hot sunny day this week, even though they said it was going to be lovely weather for the bank holiday. It's not. Because it's not raining, they just think that's okay, which, which it is. I wouldn't be here at all if it was raining. Not without waterproofs and my umbrella. I'm glad I wore my trousers as well. Something told me, but yeah, wear your, wear your walking trousers today, Sheila. Don't wear shorts. Because that would have been, that would have made me feel cold. I mean, I am. Uh, <clears throat> I got a bit of a sweat on when I had my Mac on earlier. There's somebody coming up there now. Oh, right, I'm just going to stop over by this gate. I can't see anything because it's misty. Over and out for a minute. Let's video a bit going under these trees. These trees are actually. Though we're in the shade, um, they actually are protecting from the... It's quite breezy. We're supposed to be about 9 or 11 today, the wind speed. Um, I'd say it's more like 15. More like 15, I'd say. We've just seen a woman back there. She was stopping. She's just come up. She was must have been a fast walker. Unless she was going through another way. Oh yeah, she's in um, that field now. She's over there. It's actually protecting the camera from the breeze as well, I think. 
There's a lot of this. I've got to walk. It's a pity it's such a horrible day though. Tell the truth. I was hoping it'd be hot and sunny. Let's see what the time is now. Time. Five past ten. So from the time we're getting off the bus, it's been two hours, which I thought would be about right. There's a girl somewhere there with blue top on. I don't know where she's gone now. Oh yeah, she's sort of following me. She shouldn't follow me, but she has a bit on me. Um, let's take some more pictures. More video footage as I walk along the, I don't know if it's the Macmillan track, I'm not quite sure what it is. You can see the mist. I mean, it's quite nice in a way to be able to see the mist as well. And there's all the heather. But the sun will be coming out later, but by then I would have been past all this. Two young people ahead. Two young people. Yeah, there's the heather, look. Yeah, and this, because obviously you could see for miles if the mist wasn't there. I mean, I did get out early. I, th I did wonder if I left it, if I could have done it later, this mist would have lifted by sort of mid midday. Um, there'll still be other parts of the walk. Hopefully it would have lifted by then. Um, it's supposed to be sunny most of the time. Mainly sunny, it said. But then the real sun shines not to four in the afternoon. My walk will be over by then. I don't know where the girl's gone that was behind me. She might be carrying on through the wood. Maybe she's lost. Yeah, like I said, I've seen a lot of horses up here. In and out of the trees. It's very pretty. All that up there is very pretty. I'm just going to go up and have a, another look up there. These people have been using them to make dens and things. But this is a place where you can see obviously horses ride along here. It's a good drove for horses, isn't it? I'll go back on the track in a minute. This is probably a way you can walk as well. Up through here, you see. That's quite an interesting feature, isn't it, that there? Little shelters. I'll go back on the main track, though. So we can see stuff either way. Like I said, this would have been a bit um, dark anyway. Oh, it's, it would have been dark anyway. Uh, so it's not, it's only if you want to look at views over there. But it would have been dark anyway. But I've put my windshield on now. Just for now. Don't want to get like core cold. now I've got to make a decision. Like I said, it's, quite, it's a few years ago that I've done it. I don't want to end up in Greatwood. So I'll probably go straight on, I would have thought. Because they went down there, and I'm not sure if I should go down that way. But it is a while. Yeah, you can go either way. I think if I go down that way, I'll end up going to Greatwood. So I'm going up this way. Because this, I remember this big group of trees here. Where the horses were. So I don't know where all the horses have gone. It's very similar to other parts though. Further up, there's another. When we come to um, Crocombe area, there's another sort of set of trees like this. 
But if you want to go Great Wood, I think they should really have a sign. You go down that way. I'm carrying on up here towards <coughs> Will's neck, I think it's called. Um, it's got a trick point on the top. So you emerge from here. And yeah, I think you just carry on. I don't know, because this, um, it's not clear. You can't, I can't even see Will's neck to guide me today. So it's a good job I do know a little bit of where I'm going. Yeah, because I remember when I first came, I wandered around there because I didn't know if it was that way down I had to go. And I got a feeling you can. The old farm lady was telling me about this other route, and I reckon you can't emerge here. We go up here to Will's Neck. Trick point. I should imagine there'll be lots of people out very soon. People going pub crawls. Going down that way to that lovely little pub down the bottom. People who've been stuck in for a year. Because of COVID. That little pub looks like it survived though. Right, over now, I've got to take some photos.